A woman trying to do the right thing, defending kids threatened on a bus. But that woman ends up attacked, landing in the hospital with a concussion. Team Tall's Michael Doudna spoke to that woman and he joins us live. Michael, how is she doing? The woman is sore. She has a black eye and has not been able to work for days. And it all happened at a bus stop where she was left unconscious after being punched multiple times. And she can't believe that the bus driver stayed in his seat the entire time. Sunday, a ride home on the bus turned violent. And I hear this guy yelling at some kids. So Serena Rodriguez says she stood up to this man, 48-year-old Andy Bunton, who then went after her, hitting her on the chin and in the eye, knocking her out. I went from standing up, feeling like I wasn't necessarily completely in danger to ending up on the floor. Bunton was released after spending years in prison for aggravated assault and could be returning pretty soon. But for Rodriguez, she says this situation would have never even gotten to that point if the bus driver had intervened. If we're riding on your buses, your company is in charge of everyone on that bus's safety. But according to Transdev, the company that operates these buses, the driver did the right thing, staying buckled even as punches were thrown. There's a policy that you stay in your belted in your seat. That's local transit union president Bob Bean, who says drivers are just supposed to press a button to notify the police, which is exactly what Transdev says happened. If that bus driver would have got out of the seat and intervened in that, there's a very, very good chance that Transdev would have terminated her. But for Serena Rodriguez, this is a flawed system where riders are not protected, especially those who try to stand up and do the right thing. It's just really frustrating because when I try to do something nice, someone does that to me. Says she does, Serena says she does not know when she will be able to return to work and when she does, so she does not plan on riding the bus anytime soon. We're live in the Alert Center. Michael Doudna, 12 News. Mm, tough situation there for a driver who has other people's lives in his hands, right? And perhaps something is happening behind him. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks a lot, Michael.